Hello students, welcome to Bridge Academy for Grade 11 Biology Tutorials. Unit 3, Enzymes. Lesson 1, What are Enzymes? At the end of this lesson, you will be able to define enzymes and activation energy, explain how enzymes work, describe the catalysis reaction of enzymes, activities, and substrates. What are enzymes? Introduction. Enzymes are vital proteins in living organisms. They speed up chemical reactions. Without enzymes, life processes would be too slow. Enzymes help digest food, copy DNA, and produce energy. They work as catalysts. Catalysts make reactions faster without being used up. The term enzyme has a history. It comes from Greek words and means in enzyme means yeast. In 1877, Wilhelm Kuhn coined it. He studied fermentation in yeast. His work showed enzymes cause reactions. In Ethiopia, enzymes are part of traditional practices. For example, fermentation in making injera uses enzymes. This lesson explores enzymes and their cultural importance. Defining enzymes and activation energy. All enzymes are proteins made up of chains of amino acids linked together by peptide bonds. They act as catalysts. Catalysts lower activation energy. Activation energy is the energy needed to start a reaction. Every reaction has an energy barrier. This barrier stops reactions from happening quickly. Enzymes reduce this barrier. They make reactions faster. For example, sucrose breaks down sucrose. It lowers the energy needed. This allows sugar to split into glucose and fructose. Reactions then happen at body temperature. Without enzymes, reactions need high heat or pressure. In 1877, Wilhelm Kahn studied fermentation in yeast. Fermentation turns sugar into alcohol. Kahn found a substance in yeast. It caused fermentation without living cells. He called it enzyme. This showed reactions could happen outside cells. His work started enzymology. Enzymology is the study of enzymes. Enzymes are specific. They work on one substrate or similar molecules. This specificity helps cells function smoothly. In Ethiopia, enzymes are part of culture. Injera is a traditional flatbread. It is made from teff flour. The batter ferments for days. Natural enzymes in the flour break down starches. This creates a sour taste. The fermentation process uses enzymes like amylase. Amylase turns starch into sugar. Ethiopian households rely on this. It shows enzymes in daily life. Another example is Tella, a traditional beer. Barley ferments with enzymes. These enzymes convert starches to alcohol. This connects biochemistry to Ethiopian traditions. How enzymes work. Enzymes speed up reactions. They provide a new reaction path. This path has lower activation energy. Enzymes have an active site. The active site is a special area. Substrates bind to it. Substrates are molecules enzymes act on. The active site fits the substrate. This is like a key fitting a lock. Emil Fischer proposed this in 1894. He called it the lock and key model. Later, in 1958, Daniel Koshland suggested the induced fit model. This model says the active site changes shape. It adjusts to fit the substrate better. This makes reactions more efficient. When a substrate binds, the enzyme forms a complex. This is the enzyme substrate complex. The enzyme stabilizes the transition state. The transition state is a high energy moment. It happens during the reaction. For example, catalase breaks down hydrogen peroxide. It splits the oxygen-oxygen bond. The enzyme makes this easier. The reaction produces water and oxygen. After the reaction, the enzyme releases products. It remains unchanged. It can then bind another substrate. Some enzymes are very fast. Carbonic anhydrase catalyzes millions of reactions per second. Enzyme activity depends on conditions. Temperature affects enzymes. 
Most human enzymes work best at 37 degrees Celsius. Extreme heat can denature them. pH also matters. Human enzymes like a pH of about 7.4. Some enzymes work in acidic conditions. For example, pepsin works in the stomach. Inhibitors can slow enzymes. Competitive inhibitors block the active site. Non-competitive inhibitors bind elsewhere. They change the enzyme's shape. Coenzymes help enzymes. They are molecules like vitamins. They transfer chemical groups. This makes enzymes versatile. In Ethiopia, enzyme knowledge is practical. During injera making, fermentation time matters. To little time means less enzyme activity. The batter stays flat. Too much time makes it to sour. Farmers control temperature and moisture. This helps enzymes work. In teleproduction, enzymes from malted barley are key. The process needs careful timing. Ethiopian brewers understand this. They pass down knowledge through generations. This shows enzymes in cultural practices. Summary. Enzymes are essential catalysts. They speed up reactions in cells. They lower activation energy. This makes reactions fast at body temperature. The term enzyme was coined in 1877. Wilhelm Kahn named it during fermentation studies. His work started enzymology. Enzymes work by binding substrates. They use active sites. The lock and key and induced fit models explain this. Catalysis involves binding, reaction, and product release. Enzymes are specific and efficient. They are affected by temperature, pH, and inhibitors. In Ethiopia, enzymes are part of life. Injera, Tela, Tej, and Kako rely on fermentation. Enzymes make these foods possible. Traditional knowledge shows enzyme use. Understanding enzymes is key to biology. It connects science to culture. Review questions and answers. 1. Question. What is the definition of an enzyme, and how does it relate to activation energy? Answer. An enzyme is a protein or our NA molecule that acts as a catalyst to speed up biochemical reactions. It lowers the activation energy, which is the energy needed to start a reaction. By reducing this energy barrier, enzymes make reactions happen faster at body temperature. 2. Question. How did the term enzyme originate historically? Answer. The term enzyme was coined in 1877 by Wilhelm Kuhn. It comes from the Greek words en means in, ans i means yeast. Kuhn used it to describe the substance in yeast that caused fermentation, showing reactions could occur without living cells. 3. Question. Explain how enzymes work, including the role of the active site. Answer. Enzymes work by binding a substrate to their active site, a specific region with a complementary shape. The lock and key or induced fit model explains this binding. The enzyme stabilizes the transition state, lowers activation energy, and converts the substrate into products, releasing them unchanged. 4. Question. Describe the process of enzyme catalysis and the role of substrates. Answer. Enzyme catalysis involves the substrate binding to the enzyme's active site, forming an enzyme substrate complex. The enzyme stabilizes the transition state, lowering activation energy. The substrate turns into products, which are released. Substrates are the molecules enzymes act on, like glucose or proteins. 5. Question. How are enzymes significant in Ethiopian culture, particularly in food preparation? Answer. In Ethiopia, enzymes are key in fermenting foods like injera, tela, tej, and kako. For example, amylase enzymes break down starches in teff flour for injera, creating its sour taste. Yeast enzymes ferment sugars in tela and tej, while enzymes in enset pulp make kako edible. These processes show enzymes in traditional practices. Thank you. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you next time.